Hi guys, welcome back to question four. We're still in the Z distribution, the standard normal. Mu is zero, sigma is one. Now let's answer this question. This is slightly more advanced. We want to know the percentage of data between Z equals 0.93 and Z equals 1.28. So let's immediately draw a picture. Sorry, let's use black for the curve. Okay. This is our Z distribution. Okay. So center is zero. Let's label this axis here. You'll see why I label it here. This is just my convention. Uh, not You can do it any way you want. As we get to more progressively difficult problems, you'll see that this comes a little handy. Okay, here's positive 0.93, and here is 1.28. Okay, so we're asking for the area between these two. The percentage of data between these two values, let me use green. Okay, so how to break this down, okay? So this is no longer a tail, nor is it a body probability. This is something that falls kind of in between. How do you deal with this? Well, let me show you in picture form how you deal with it. Remember, the table that I'm using is might be different than the one you're using. But if you're using my table and you've watched my video on my table, you'll recall that our table tells us the area from 0 to a positive z value. So knowing this, let me draw a series of pictures. All of Z distributions. So here's 1.28. If we look up 1.28 and we get the area here, we get, we've done this in previous examples. The table gives us 39 0.97% of the data falls from 0 to 1.28. Right? That was one of the simple questions. Now, if we draw another one right under it, if I keep these pictures kind of symmetric, but it's quite difficult. Here's 0.93, definitely a little bit to the left of 1.28. Let's shade that area. If we look up Z equals 0.93, I believe we got 32.38%. Okay, yeah. All right. Both these were previous uh, examples of previous problems that we might have looked at. But now what we want to do is we want to get this guy right here, right? And in order to do that, we can kind of use this kind of picture here to visualize what we're going to do. So I'm going to draw a big old minus sign here. And I'm going to minus these pictures. That's conceptual for you, so you can see what's going on. But really, our answer lies in subtracting these two numbers. OK? So let's pull up a calculator here quickly and subtract the 0 0.3997, 0 0.3238. Oops. We'll get 7. 0.59%. So that is your answer. Now why? Okay, so this is where I want to spend more of my time. The answer is 7.59%. Now let's figure out why this is the case. Well, that's why I drew these pictures over here, okay? So let's go through this. If the area from 0 to 1.28, which is the further value, is 39.97, and the area from 0 to the smaller value is 32.93. If we subtract these two areas, we'll be left with exactly what we want. Let me draw that under. I can barely fit this, but it should work. OK, good. All right, here is 0. Here is 0.93. I'm trying to line these up as well as I can. I apologize. So if I subtract this guy from 
this guy. What I'm doing is I'm taking this. Let me use another color ink. I'm taking this right here away from this, right? So I'm subtracting this from this, right? So what I'm left with is I lop this part off. What I'm drawing in red here is what's going to get lopped off when I take this away from this. And let's draw that over here. So here is 0.93. Let's just draw these straight lines first. I'm left with just this. Sorry, this was 1.28, not 1.2. Okay? So when I take this guy away from this, all I'm left with is this piece that we wanted. I'm left with the piece that we wanted here because I took this away. I'm just left with this. And if you look back to the original picture, that's what I wanted, right? And down here, pictorially, I've represented this over here, right? So these are kind of all lined up as well as I could. And you see how we chop off the 0.93. So and here's the 1.28 so all that's left after we take this guy out right maybe I can even erase we take this guy out essentially from here right and then the result is we're left with this picture at the bottom right here right which is the same as what we wanted and that equals 0 0.0759. All right, so that's how you get the area between two values that don't include zero. So these are slightly more complicated. Okay, so I tried to show you with a picture as well as with numbers. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. This is question four. Continue on to five, six, and beyond. I'm gonna get progressively more complicated. I'm gonna pretty soon. I'm gonna introduce an x value. Okay, something like height, weight, or income. And we're going to have to do some further steps because we're not going to start with a Z distribution. Okay, so we're going to have to convert and things like that. All right, so be sure to subscribe and see you next time.